a splendid cascade of trichromatic hues. Life, in general, teaches and has an amazingly strange yet magical way of teaching one beautiful lessons where absolute passion and utmost dedication is concerned. Here, the journey of an artist speaks frivolous volumes through their colorful rendering via the language of the heart, sprinkling enough and more exquisiteness of beauty onto the picturesque work availed. Deftly worded is the fact that the true meaning of having enough resilience and confidence is to rise each day and face the world alone, to the perfect tranquil companionship of solitude, where whatever surprise elements await one, braving the odds of whatever pressures and circumstantial situations lay in store. Yet, despite all of life's complexities, there per se exists within such blessed brave souls the vibes of expressing hidden auras of wonderment and certain inexplicable essence of exquisite magnificence as can be seen in this availed piece of exhibit. There is something about the magnanimity in the prism of primordial colors given here, being red, blue, yellow in accordance, colorfully portraying the enriched famous folklore from possibly the local or remote suburbs of the deserts of Rajasthan in northern India, with the intricacies of the details so clearly defined that one can get to see even the smug facial expressions of the ladies who perhaps are driven to perform, either under acts of compulsion or to the melancholic tunes of the musical recital that's obviously being played in the background. At the same time, being elegantly adorned in the resplendence of the local dance attire that brings out the grandeur of even the traditionally famous loud accessories of the white set of bangles in the hands and bigger ones supported as amulets, yet simultaneously draws out the contrast of how bold are the frail volumes from the vaguely non-spelled facial articulation. The finely embroidered veils of yellow, red and blue that either hides or complements the expressive countenance is followed by the spellbinding work of grandiloquence on the light flowy fabric wear of long skirts, where the wondrous sunspots of yellow arrayed down with smaller blobs of blues and tinier blacks on the left, the mirror-like sparkling splashes stack gracefully and literally sprayed all the way down with strong hues of oceanic blues and a pinch of aquatic shades on the right, and yet again, the brilliance of the radiating red with smaller throws of cloud-like designs of dusty rose whites and blues, yet again pecked up by twinkles of pearl white and pepper black spots played artistically way down on at the central maiden. All in all speaks the catch of this eloquent piece as in the manner in which the three maidens seem to be lost in a trance and seemingly complementing each other with their respective artistic performance making aesthetes sense the liveliness of the image so strongly real enough, leading them to think that they have been lured into the painting and are lost amidst the crowd of the enjoyable village folklore. Having captured the craftsmanship of the artist's creativity in entirety is the perfectly blended addition of the predominant finishing touches that shiningly revels exuberantly with the scintillating miniature mites of the likes of either sweets or pebbles as the befitting backdrop. For the fact that whosoever the artisan might be could either evolve from the creative mind of a grown-up youngster or arise from the innocence of a child artist. Art is a place for children to learn, to trust their ideas, themselves and to explore what is possible. Every child is an artist. The problem is how to remain an artist once we grow up.